New at five, it's been a part of Inglewood for nearly 100 years. Now the city's historic train depot may soon be owned by someone else. 70s reporter Molly Hendrickson live in Inglewood. Molly, not everyone agrees that this is a good deal. Not at all. Some say it's a backdoor deal. They say that the land this current historic depot sits on is worth six times the current offer. But the city says whoever buys this building has to restore it, and that factors into the sales price. It had become the white elephant of the Englewood community. The historic train depot left neglected. Well, at least until the city put the property up for sale. Now it seems everyone is interested. Enter Paul Malinowski. Our plans are to um, renovate the building, restore the historic parts of it, and then occupy it as our corporate office. His offer? $50,000, less than a quarter of what the city initially paid for the property. But he says renovating the building will cost about $370,000. We basically just looked at what would the building be worth after rehab, how much the rehab would cost, because that's money we have to put into it, and then our offer. $50,000 for a property like this is outrageous. Bev May never even knew the property was for sale. No signs, no meetings, nothing. She found out through Councilman Rick Gillett, the only member to vote against the deal. We were not even given an opportunity to consider wanting it. As a matter of fact, I have two buyers right now who could purchase and outbid the current buyer. But they just want somebody to take it over. They just want somebody to make sure that it's restored. And, um, and, and, and that's a great idea. I want somebody as well, but I want the right somebody, and I want that right somebody at the right price. 50000 is not the right price. Malinowski says he just wants to restore the community jewel and believes his investment will do just that. The mayor and city councilors who voted for the deal declined an on-camera interview, but did tell us the city requested proposals on its website and in local newspapers. Meanwhile, there will be a meeting Monday night to hear from concerned residents before the city council takes a final vote. Reporting live in Englewood, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News. So there's one more chance then, Molly, for people to come out and say how they feel before this is a done deal? That's right. They have Monday night as the last chance, and they do expect a big turnout, so we'll see how it goes. I'm sure we will be there, too. Molly, thanks so much.